What's up guys and welcome to another YouTube video. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. I normally do challenges or vlogs, but I do get the question a lot, which is uh, how do you grow on TikTok? How do you go viral? And in the past couple of months, I've been able to get up to around 700,000 followers on the app and it's been really a really cool experience. So I thought that maybe I could share some of my knowledge to kind of help all you guys grow too. Okay guys, I gotta stop you real quick and give you a little note here. Make sure, make sure that you watch the whole video. It's a lot of information here, but if you take everything I said in, you really, really can have success with your account. But everything I said is super important, so make sure you stay till the end and watch it all because it all ties in together on how you can be really, really successful on TikTok. So, enjoy. Okay, so part one is lighting. Now, lighting is a really important thing on TikTok, and the first thing I always recommend anyone to do is to get a ring light because that's a way that if you don't have good lighting in your house, you can always have good lighting. I mean, even right now I have one, but I know everyone not doesn't have a ring light, so if you don't have a ring light, that's okay too. What you wanna do is you wanna film your videos outside in natural light because it's gonna help your videos perform way better than if you do it inside where the lighting isn't as great. And uh, something else I also noticed with that is uh, if you make a place really dark, like let's say you turn off all your lights and you use the flash on your camera, that can also provide some amazing lighting. And I have a little video going on right there. And that's kind of an idea of a video where um, I didn't use any, uh, I just used uh, darkness and my light and it turned out pretty cool. Part two, hashtags. Okay, so I have a little bit of a different opinion than a lot of creators on hashtags. First of all, I want to start by saying that hashtags can be good. If you're using hashtags like for you or feature me, hashtags where they have too many videos under it, it's not going to benefit you because if the hashtag has too many people posting under it, the likelihood of your video being seen is going to be way low. So like I'll never use the hashtag for you, feature me, any of those kind of things. If you do use hashtags though, I'd highly recommend you only use like the newest hashtags that uh, TikTok updates weekly. If you use those, it, there is a better chance you can be sane. But um, personally, what I've learned is that hashtags aren't something that's gonna make your video go viral, essentially. And what I mean by that is I feel like uh, more important than hashtags is description. So for me, I'd rather sacrifice like hashtag space down below to put a really cool description on it. And uh, what I've noticed is that this definitely helps me way more. Here's a video on the uh, left right here of a video that I didn't use any hashtags and it did pretty awesome. But yeah, so more of a story on that one. You don't need hashtags. Highly recommend that you don't use them to put a really awesome uh, caption there. Part three, your own content. Okay, so TikTok, there isn't a little, there, person sitting behind like the TikTok like curtain saying this video goes viral, this one doesn't, this one does, this one doesn't. It's all run by an algorithm within TikTok. So your goal is to hit that algorithm. And if you're posting, reposting other people's content or if you're reposting like video clips, like maybe there's a funny movie you watched and you reposted a video clip of that, the likeliness of it doing well is way, way less because the algorithm knows the content that's already on the app. So if someone reposts it, it's gonna say, hey, this person took someone else's video, we're gonna downvote it more. So it's really hard to get content that you repost or that you take from somewhere else to go viral on the app. Part four, having a niche. So a niche is almost like a specific kind of content that you post. So there, you can definitely post all different kinds of content. You could post comedy, aesthetic videos, slow-mo videos, and all of these things. And you can definitely grow like that. One thing I have noticed though, is that if you really excel in one area, let's say you make amazing, amazing slow-mos, then you probably wanna stick to all slow-mos because normally when someone follows another person, they follow them for a certain kind of content that they produce. So if someone really likes slow-mo videos and you only post slow-mo videos, anytime they wanna see one, they know they can go to your account to watch slow-mo videos. The same with like aesthetic videos or anything. But if you're posting all around the block, then if people, if they're craving an aesthetic video, then they their first thought isn't to go to your profile because you post a little bit of everything. So it's definitely good either way. If you have a niche or like a specific kind of thing you uh, post, that can help you grow very fast. But on the other hand, you can also be more creative and spread out, but it's just important to keep that in mind of who your audience is. Part five is 
being consistent with your posting times. So a really big question that I get asked a lot is how much should I post? And the answer to that, it really does vary. And one thing you always got to remember is on TikTok, quality is always better than quantity. So that being said, if someone posts a uh, a video that maybe isn't the highest quality but they post it seven times throughout the week compared to one person who posts one extremely extremely high quality once a week the person with the really high quality video is going to grow faster now if you do feel that all your quality is very very high quality then you can post it up to one to three times a day but you just kind of have to decide the area that you're in and it's really important to get a better idea of how you feel your quality or the quality of your video is part six tiktok duets and tiktok reactions so with duets duets are a good thing to post every once in a while but you don't want to spam your page with duets and the reason is that duets it's not as likely a duet goes viral as it is one of your like original contents so i would definitely focus on not doing too many duets and that kind of leads us into reactions. With reactions, reactions are a really cool resource that you can use too, but I would only post reactions if your account uh, gets up to maybe the 5,000 follower-ish range, and then uh, reactions can do really well for you. But before that, I've noticed that reactions don't help too much. Part seven, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the For You page. So the For You page is a very 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 powerful tool in uh, TikTok for a video to go viral and do really well it has to get on the for you page which kind of leads us into the question of how do you get on the for you page and that's where a lot of these steps that's why I put this as number seven because steps uh, one through six they really help with this because the for you page is algorithmically based that means if your video is high quality, if the lighting's good on it, if you're using the right wording and all these things, your video is more likely to hit the For You page. That's why it's super important to pit steps one through six all in one video. And if you do that, then you can definitely start hitting the For You page more often. And kind of how the For You page works is almost a, a snowball effect. So a video is sent out, right? And then a couple people watch it and they like it. And so it sends the video out to a couple more people, a couple more people like it. So now it's doing well. It starts sending out to more people and more people and more people until it's the, the algorithm sees that people aren't, in, or aren't enjoying it as much anymore. So it's something to keep in mind. But when you're trying to hit the For You page, make sure you keep all these tips in your mind because it's gonna help you hit it way more often. And on top of that, another good way to hit the For You page, like, the content that you should post uh, what I've noticed does best is trends and um, how do you find trends well you can always uh, sit on the for you page and listen for sounds and if you hear a sound coming up more than once that you haven't heard before maybe it's like an audio a comedy or whatever the case may be that should be like a light bulb in your head because you hear that and you're like okay a lot of people are using this maybe I should make a video of it because the algorithm also favors audios that start being used by a ton of people. So if you're on the early part of that and you find that trends on the faster part, well, it can help your video go massively, massively, massively viral. Part eight, video length. So with videos, you really wanna keep your videos in between about seven seconds up to about 22 seconds is what I've noticed. I would only pass 15 seconds if you really, really feel the content's engaging. But if you don't feel the content's engaging, I would not go past 10 seconds. I mean, uh, 15 seconds. And um, if you stay in between the seven and 15 second, it's a very good area there. If you go anywhere lower than that, it's harder for the videos to go viral. So definitely focus on that. Part nine, what not to post. So if you are posting, um, well, okay, let's go back to this for a second. Before TikTok was TikTok, it was Musical.ly. And the way uh, people posted on Musical.ly was mainly lip syncing videos. You guys remember that where people like grab their phones and it would be like the, uh, all that stuff and the lip syncing. Well, TikTok's a little bit differently. It actually works the exact opposite. So on TikTok, if the content you're producing is mainly lip syncing content, 
the algorithm won't push it to more people. It actually pushes lip syncing a little bit more down. So if that's a form of content that you've been doing a lot, I would highly recommend completely cutting out all lip syncing the songs if you really, really want to grow your account. And part 10, I thank you. Thank you guys for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. If you can, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you think someone could use this, maybe share it with them, send it to them. You know how it is. But um, whatever the case, thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully all this can help you. And I hope I see some success with you guys. So let me know.